Hello, I'm Kainton on the Tech Pro, and today we continue from where we stopped. Um, in the previous tutorial, we had problem here because we are trying to find an element within another element. In case you forgot, this is tutorial seven: finding an element within another element. So, how to do it? You say the element. You specify the outer element, dot element, the inner element, and dot value. You specify the value. So, and we have our XML file hoping that we can find uh, this element that contains this state. But when we run the program, uh, somehow nothing happened. So, let's solve this problem at this point. Alright, so what I did, because everything in this program is very correct, so what I did is just to say dot contains so replace with dot contains and let's see what happens equal uh, equals uh, mystery so it finds it out with dot contains okay so the problem is this in our XML file we can see some spaces um, uh, before and after the word so in that way if we just say the value is equal to here then it will try to find these words without the space so it means that at this point it will not find anything all right so one way to say uh, I think there is a string function that says a string okay that will also solve the problem because it will trim off the spaces at both sides so if we say dot trim most likely it will find it okay all right another option is to go to the XML file and then remove uh, just remove the spaces right there all right so that is it the function is very very correct so let's now go to the class we have for today the, the, today's class is really going to be very very interesting so let's see, we have tutorial 8, how to find nested elements within, sorry, nested elements using descendants keyword. So all the things we've been doing now, we are going to do it in a very, very easy way using the descendants keyword. All right, let's see how it works. All right, so let's uh, put away this function. Remember, to subscribe if you've not subscribed to uh, my channel tutorial 8 how to find nested elements using uh, descendants keywords okay so public void find elements with okay using the sendants okay so that is what we are going to learn for today and I call it the easy part you're really going to you are really going to enjoy it so let's do the same thing we normally do the first thing is to is to declare a new x element uh, variable x element equal to x element dot sorry x element dot load and we specify books of xml all right so now we are not we are going to do things in <coughs> a little uh, different manner than we normally do before so we are now trying to find uh, zip uh, sorry let's see in the books because this time we are using books okay um we are trying to find um let's say fantasy books for where the uh, genre is equal to fantasy and this time we are using descendants all right so let's see how descendants work so in case of descendants what you are going to do is to just say because at this point we want to find all the genre 
that is fantasy. All right. Uh, let's just see console the right line. All fantasy books. Okay, so all fantasy books. That is what we are going to find. Before now, we've been using dot element, but this time we are going to use descendant. So we'll go ahead to just start writing the for loop for each x element ELE in this time we are using this one directly in x dot descendants so this is simply how it works now you want to specify where you want the descendant to start from okay so let's uh, put this up Let's uh, close this. So what it means, let's go back to the books. Now book is a descendant of catalog. Auto is a descendant of book. It becomes clearer when we use the plain ads. Okay, now add is a descendant of let's me enlarge this thing a little so that you can see it clearly. All right. Add is a descendant of plain for sale. Year is a descendant of add. Then we have city is a descendant of location. Okay, so so let's find all the fantasy books using descendant keyword. So we are searching through all the descendants of book. Okay, so I hope you understand it. If not, try to take some time to practice. So for each X element ELE, this is in in X element of descendant of book. So let's just write it out. Console that writes you just write ELE. It's as simple as that. So in this way, it will write everything uh, completely. So if we, okay, I, I think we missed out something. Okay, okay. So at this point, we are trying to find all the descendants of book. Okay, so if we run, this is what we we have. Okay, we are using plain for. Oh, sorry, we are, we are still on the previous one, so let's just change these dots. I think find element using the same then, that is the name of the function. So replace it here. So if we run it now, it displays actually all the books because we've not filtered anything so what is happening now is is finding all the descendants of book let me explain it a little clearer so here is saying for each element ELE uh, X element in a, X element of descendants of book. Okay, so so it, it is going to search through all of this, and then let's run it again so that we see exactly what is happening. So so it finds all the books for sure, but we are saying that we want to actually find fantasy books. Okay. So, can you try that yourself? Um, you can just say, um, can just say, bar fun, uh, let's see, books equal to from um, X element uh, 
fantasy books. Okay, okay, let's continue. Dots descendants. Okay, so X element, I think, is correct. Okay, fantasy book is equal to from ELE in X element dot descendant. This is the syntax. So you now use your where clause where um, ELE dot element. Um, descendant, sorry, um, fantasy is from genre, right? So we have fantasy is from genre, so where element genre is equal to fantasy equal to fantasy, okay, then we select E. Okay, so where ELE the element generate the value, add the value to indicate that it has to be a string. So in this way, we are trying to find all the fantasy books. So from this time, I'm going to search from for each. In this time we are specifying fantasy books for each book in fantasy books we can write book okay for each book in fantasy book we can write book so if we run it now for sure it's going to so see X element of descendant of books. I think we need to specify descendant of books here. So let's see. So these are all the fantasy books. So if you look at it carefully, you can see uh, fantasy, you can see fantasy. Okay. Sometimes you may think of displaying it in a, a little in a cleaner way. Okay. So in that way, let's try to beautify uh, to display in. Let me try to display in a tabular form. Uh, that will take the time. So let's say. <clears throat> let's just say something like. Auto. Okay. And then you specify book dot elements. It's as simple as that. The value. Okay, so um, okay, I think we need to put a plus here to show that we want to concatenate. Okay, so. Remove this, put it in here. All right, so we display the auto. Let's display the the title of genre. So this one now we want to display the title. And then let's put a separating line for the for the uh, books. So at this point, I want to use this to be a separator. So if I run it, it's going to display the book in a. Well, it's, it's giving us error message. Uh, let's look at the list. So, okay, I need a semicolon at the end of this place. So if I run it, you can see. 
is displaying in a very clean way. See? Author Rose Ro King, Fantasy, uh, Genre Fantasy, Title Midnight Train. So all of them are actually fantasy books. Alright, this is how we come to the end of this tutorial. This is how to use um, um, Descendants to search XML file. Remember, if you've not subscribed, click on the subscribe. And then let's see where we are. We are now moving to the last one, how to apply sorting, how to now sort elements uh, that is in the XML file. I would like to thank you for viewing.